I'm here with the Nine Wool Clippers forward, Lucas Van Robois. Lucas, you're part of a line that's having a lot of success right now. Why are things working so well with Brad Bell and Jack McNabb? Uh, you know, I think we're all just we're hard we're all hard workers and we all uh, we all want to get on to the next level. So I think our uh, intensity and hard work that we bring to the rink every every day is kind of gelled together and we've really we've made some good chemistry lately and uh, hopefully that continues. You had a lot to deal with this year, starting in Nanaimo, having to go to Oceanside, then earning your way back to Nanaimo. What was that experience like? Because I'm sure there were some challenges. For sure, but I think it all in all, it was, uh, it was definitely uh, something I'll never uh, take for granted. I think uh, going down there really showed me what I needed to do to get to this level. And when I came back here, I just tried to, uh, uh, in practices, show coaches and show everyone, show the team I could complete, compete and play with these guys. and. Uh, Hopefully I can continue doing that for the rest of the year and, and build off that. In what ways have you grown, do you think, as a hockey player this year? Uh, I've definitely grown mentally. There's been some ups and downs. I think uh, that comes with uh, every uh, junior road trip, junior uh, game, junior uh, experience, just the junior lifestyle. So I think with all the roller coasters that we've gone through, it just really uh, helped me mentally, Get, gave some mental uh, strength. I think a lot of people think of you right now as a checking forward, but I think there's offense in, in your game too. When your role eventually settles out by the end of the year, uh, what do you think that role is going to be on this club? Uh, I think I'll always have uh, that checking forward part in me. I like to bring a spark to the game. I like to play on an edge. So uh, if I can keep that, but also maybe put up some points, maybe uh, chip in offensively and uh, yeah, just uh, contribute both uh, in both ways, I think that'd be a good... Uh, Good way for me to go. That last road trip, Prince George, Chilliwack, Langley, three games in two and a half days. And on top of that, bodies going down up front. So lots of extra ice out there. Uh, what was that experience like? Uh, yeah, like I said, it was another roller coaster like uh, like we go through almost every day. Um, we started a game with Chilliwack with a full, line, with a full roster and uh, ended the game with only, I think it was three centers and uh, three centers and not even four full lines so uh and uh what we had to do is we were to all bear down we were all getting ice time so we all had to chip in and do what we could do play our roles and uh see what we could do you've got the grizzlies and the bulldogs this weekend give me just a little information a little bit of a scouting report if you will on both of those teams oh uh, well you know yeah the uh bulldogs they're all uh they're a smaller team but they're fast and they never give up so i think uh like uh like, uh, I think we should get off to a good start. That's going to be key. Quick start, and if we just keep to our systems, I think we can take them. And uh, for Victoria, they're, uh, we've, uh, we've had some trouble against them lately, but I think if we stick to our, uh, stick to our program that Coach Vandekamp's given us and our systems and stuff, I think we can take them. Uh, they like to be offense offensively active with their D, so if we shut them down, I think we'll have no problems. That is the Nine Clippers forward, Lucas Van Robois.